Some Ohio businesses are a step closer to recreational marijuana use, as new rules will be in effect for those applying for recreational marijuana licenses. Now, with this application process starting in just less than seven days, our Dominique O'Neill has been checking in with legislators as well as a local business. Dominique, what can you tell us about all of this? Well, Tatiana, I talked to a cannabis center in Michigan, as well as a state representative who says medical marijuana sales are already legal, but once these applications are approved, some of these establishments will be able to start selling for recreational use. Ohio lawmakers are trying to see how recreational marijuana could help businesses in Toledo and across the state. It's going to be up to um, the Division of Cannabis Control to review those applications and approve those applications before uh, stores can go live. Um, they haven't given any indication on when that will start. Since Ohio voted yes for recreational marijuana last November, this June, things are finally starting to move along. Uh, hope, hopefully we can get folks to um, open up businesses, especially those who have been impacted. State Representative Michelle Grimm says the hope is to get people of color to apply for licenses. She says there's actually a written requirement in issue two to help those who have been socially disadvantaged to get into the cannabis business. Um, so hopefully, you know, we, we do see um, folks open up uh, adult use businesses here so that way we can um, we can benefit from that that sales tax revenue here in Toledo. Medical dispensaries will be able to apply for a recreational license starting June 7th. Don Lofton with Indo Vive Cannabis Centers says this could impact businesses and potentially boost sales. Well, I think this could have a huge impact on on Michigan's business, uh, you know, just because, you know, the travel time, uh, you know, uh, but Michigan, I think, will survive because Michigan is really compressed market. Lofton says in Michigan, they have a huge customer base that is based out of Ohio. And many customers are actually from southern Ohio. And Indo currently has two retail locations with two more pending openings. Lofton says this application could open up a larger world of opportunities. Uh, the takeaway from Ohio, uh, you know, coming uh, into uh, legalization, I, I think that as Endo, we're prepared uh, right now, we're searching for licenses uh, in Ohio market. So we will actually have retail locations in the southern you know, part of the state. And the state will approve or deny those applications. So we could start seeing sales as early as this summer. Reporting in studio, Dominic O'Neill, WTO 11.